I'm Felicia, author of Fashion by Felicia. Hi, I'm Sean. I'm author of Style with Sean with The Observer. And we're here to give you our opinion of Fashion Police, Oscar edition. So, let's start with the worst dressed. Sean, what were your picks? I chose Emma Stone for her giant gargantuan bow just sitting right next to her neck. It was not appealing. I don't know if she thought she was a present for someone or... Oh, I completely what? agree. I know, it was like she was gifting herself to the Academy Awards, okay. truly. Yes, well, I chose Melissa McCarthy, even though I adore her, very poised on the red mm -hmm. carpet. It's just I wasn't loving the nude color. She looked a little washed out. And, I mean, the collar and the belt were nice, but, you know, not my cup of tea. Of course, the worst of all, I thought, personally, was Shailene Woodley and that Valentino white thing. It was too mm -hmm. Star Trek. Don't, wouldn't you agree? I think George Lucas wants his dress back from Princess Leia. I agree. And now on to the best dressed. Uh, my pick is Gwyneth Paltrow. Uh, it looked wonderful on her. She wore a nice cape and white gown. Anytime you can wear a cape and not look like a member of the Justice League I think is a huge success. So other than that I'd say it just looks really good on her and now I'll pass it off to Felicia for her picks. Thanks Sean. Best dressed women. Of course, Gwyneth Paltrow and Tom Ford, same as Sean, although for a few different reasons. Tom Ford showed one of his dresses from his new Fall 2012 collection, which no one has seen yet other than buyers, so Gwyneth Paltrow gave us a perfect peek. Also, it's inspired by Madeleine Vionnet, the classic early 20th century Parisian designer who invented the bias cut, so historical fashion, chic and elegant, what more can you want? And now on to the worst dressed male, Jonah Hill. I mean, he managed to not wear any white at a black and white attire event, and that's the first mistake. And then he managed to wear a color that we're still debating over here and everywhere else around the world. It could have been plum or some shade of black I've never seen before. I think I'm going to contact Crayola and find out what color that actually is, and maybe they'll name it after him, like the Jonah Hill color or something, but that was not a good look. Well, quite frankly, this is going to be a very short commentary, because what can I say? Jonah Hill, the shirt, I mean, really? Who are we kidding? It was like brown and black, and on Oscar night? No words. And now on to the male that managed to wear black and white better than the rest of the males wearing black and white. Uh, it was Brad Pitt for me. Personally, I have a thing for guys with long hair. So I really, I just want his hair in reality. That's because there's really nothing different between what most guys wear on the red carpet. I mean, he did wear slimmer lapels than most people, but I just liked his hair. So. Well, fashionistas, I'm going to go out on a limb. Sasha Baron Cohen, I'm sorry, what can I say? Maybe it's just that I'm a sucker for a man in a uniform. But a dictator's outfit and gold, and then spilling those ashes on Ryan Seacrest? He had my heart the moment that fell. And now for those few that Sean and I, despite our fabulous fashion know-how, are still a little undecided about. Sean? Well, let's start with Natalie Portman. Yes. Red dress, black polka dots. I personally thought Ladybug. What did you think? Strawberry for me. Moving on. Michelle Williams in Vuitton. Coral, mm -hmm. beautiful. But what was going on with the peplum top? What did you think? I don't know. It was like two different things going on at the same time. It just didn't mesh. I know. Please leave us your comments. Tell us what you think. We hope you've enjoyed this segment of Fashion mm -hmm. by Felicia and Style with Sean Oscar Edition Fashion Police. Have a wonderful day.